May the 6th, 2019, five o'clock in the morning. Been a week, let me tell you. Last week, Friday, Mr. Turkey with my bow. Saturday, Mr. Giant Tom with my bow. Monday, Fear Fishing Experiment. Today, the big Wednesday. We're doing something for the first time in 2020. With everything that is going on, I am putting gas in the boat for the first time. We are headed to the Bay of Quinty. Open last Saturday, we missed the opener. I'm meeting up with Mark and Sean, a couple other guys, and we're gonna social distance our way, hopefully into some walleye. The plan is Sean and Mark have been working together so they can fish together. I'm going to fish in the boat by myself, and that's how we're gonna break this down. Everybody's just going to split up from boat to boat where we can follow the social distance laws, and we can get some fishing in. I'm gonna finish filling this up. I just heard a rumor that Mark Hunter slept in a little bit so they're going to be late but I'm going to get some gas. I'm going to get some Rockstar and finally we are going to start filming, fishing, and taking adventures with you in 2020. <laughs> Pump the gas, I got the rig out of the way, and finally the boys made it. McCall! Yo! Excited? Yeah. Going fishing? Yeah. Thanks. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Going fishing? I'm going while well, I got some redemption to do. I'm gonna do this it. Is your I'm gonna year, win. Buddy. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. This is your year. Anybody who's watched the vlog in the past know that Mark doesn't catch walleye very often. I am I think there's gonna be a bit of a challenge today. We're gonna have to discuss it on the way. These boys are gonna load up and we're going to Quinny. And truth be told, we're not 100% sure that there's we can find a launch, but we're gonna find something. We're going fishing, somehow, some way. Made it to the boat launch. Walleye in is happening. Sean McCall, maybe Mark is just dropping off their boat and then we're going. Moose, what's up, homie? What's up, bro? How are you? Good. Thanks. Randy, Whoa. way over there. Hey, it's it's a six feet rule. That woman just hushed me at about 60 yards. Oh, yeah. Do you guys see that? Oh, I saw her yelling at you. Stay away. Stay away. Boys, you excited to go fishing? Absolutely. We're gonna catch some fish today. Gotta catch some Walters. I can feel it. I'm waiting for Mr. Mark Hunter to come over. I think that's Mark. Hopefully he's gonna drop me in. The nice fellow he is. Sean must be on the water. It's exciting, exciting. Just waiting on Mr. McCall. He, we, we, there's no docks, no nothing. So there's a bit of preparation to get on and off the water, but it's coming, it's coming. I'm almost walleyeing. I believe there's a bet going on today. I'm gonna find out from Mr. Sean what it is. In just a second, I also have another treat for him. I found something in my truck that is probably Sean's. Yo! Yo! I got something for you. What's that? Can't tell you, I got two things. First of all, I got Jack Links for you and Mark. Oh, snacks. Snack, sweet. And found a Bass Nation oh, too. Oh, is that mine? It's gotta be yours, cause yeah, I don't have one. Bro, you gonna back me in? You gonna back me in? Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. You back me in. Okay, go easy, she's fresh. Yeah. Fresh. Finally on the water, look at that. We're making morning moves. Let's get to the river, see what's going on. Hopefully we're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna do the vertical jig with a chartreuse jig head. Hopefully they're biting. Sean and Mark are already on their way. Let's go catch up. Moosey forgot to put his plug in, so they're a couple seconds behind. Let's catch some fish. have got a couple hours into vertically jigging and not much is happening. The water is cold, there is next to no current. Moose and Randy did get a fish. Sean and Mark got nothing. I missed two, but it's not really happening. What I'm gonna do now, I did bring a Tatua bait casting rod. I'm gonna throw on a rattle trap and whip that around and see if I can't rattle trap some in. But so far, the vertically jigging is not going well. was a 
rough start to the boat season, boys. Yeah. How'd you guys make out? Um, let's see. They started off no plug-in boat. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I was there for that. Then uh, I had to strip down to get into my boat because there's no dock. There's no dock. And there's then, very little water too. Yeah. Very little. Very, very little. little. Lots of striped little silver bass things. Yeah, I didn't get any silver bass. I was going for the big one. I was using big four-inch baits, yep. vertically jigging. I didn't get any. I saw some on the. Uh, you lost the. You lost one. I lost one walleye. Why? Well, I, I had two walleye vertically jigging first thing in the morning. Then I got like one head shake out of and then I had one follow us uh, a little tiny swim bait, but he he was so not interested. He was just falling along. First day out on the water is a bummer. Is a bummer. But you know what the good news is? We got out on the water. Well, it can't get any worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do with the afternoon? Steelhead. Yep. Nice. I might go turkey hunt. Boys, Moose, thank you so much for helping me get my boat out of the water. Cheers, buddy. No problem. No that was problem. super awesome of you. No problem. And we social distanced the whole thing. It was beautiful. Moose is making a mess. We are, I am on the road to see what the wife and all the kitties are doing at home. Then we'll decide what the plan is. Boys, I hope next time we go fishing, we catch fish. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the plan. And if you're looking for McCall and Hunter, they decided that they were going to drive all the way to Belleville. And when I called them, zero fish. But Sean is, uh, I don't think he's letting Mark go home. I think he's got him on lockdown. Sean's waited so much for this I don't even think Sean cares if they cast. They're just going to be out on the lake. Home time. They say home is where the heart is. Well once again I made her. I got the boat cleaned out. I got everything out of the truck. Kind of a disappointing morning. I really thought we were going to pound on them, but I was talking to some of the locals before we left. The water's dropped a foot. No current. They seem to be working on lock one, dam one, and Trenton. So rough, rough, rough go. Talked to Sean and Mark. They pounded her down to Belleville on the lake. And things aren't any better there. I'm going to go in the house, see the fam jam, and decide where we're going from here. I'll always go out and chase them turkeys. Just woke up from what might have been the greatest walleye depression nap ever. It is 3.30, we are running behind. We are running a little late because we're going turkey hunting. New cool things, Amber ordered me up this chest pack for my range finder, for my binoculars, all kinds of hunting goodies that I can put in there. I'm always like fumbling around and looking in my pockets and I can never find anything 2020, even though it's got off to a bad year for everybody on the planet. My goal for 2020 is to be more of an organized man. This. I think my friends is going to help. I also put my keys in there for I don't lose those. Now, last Friday, a week, almost a week ago, out turkey hunting, I had a run in with three Jake. Sadly, I did not bag one of those birds. The next net morning, I called in a giant Tom. A Tom that could only, maybe the size of uh, ostrich comes to mind. I missed him too. Well, I drive to camp. You guys can roll through this footage. I'm having a blast. 2020 is not being very good to me, but I'm having a blast. We're gonna get into the turkey blind tonight. So let's roll bird miss one two and hope three times the charm i can't believe the walleye sucked mark and sean honestly just got off the water and they never got a walleye either tough go today the whole 2020 deal is a tough go
made it to the Ponderosa. I got that from Diamond Dave himself. Looking good up there on the Fear Fishing truck. Missed two turkeys, very close. If you're feeling sorry for me, don't at all. If you feel sorry for anybody, Mark Hunter sat Saturday and Sunday from about 4.30, quarter to five in the morning till 7 p.m. and didn't get a shot, even a, a chance at a shot. So don't feel bad for me. I'll, I'll make do. I'm going to get her done tonight. We have a hair under two hours to hunt because I had that walleye depression nap. So I need to get into the ground blind. So I'm gonna leave you guys here. Well, I'm not gonna leave you guys here, but I'm gonna go get my stuff and I'm gonna rush into the ground blind. Hopefully those gobblers aren't out in the field so i missed two dave missed one saturday morning i believe with a shotgun because he had the wrong turkey choke in i don't even know what's going on with the birds we gave them a few days to cool down hopefully they're still around hopefully there's more i will let you know because i'm gonna call one in No break for the wicked, eh? Look at you go. Casey is destroying the raw foods. Ew. Hi, Amber. Hi. How was your day? Good. How was yours? Eh, seven out of ten. You got some sun. I got some sun. Yeah, you did. Emma, how was your day? Uh, just another day. Just another day in Quarantineville. No walleye, but I got to go out in the boat and drive it around. Out in the old turkey blind, I saw one Jake and one hen. They did not come in, but I did not miss another gobbler. There is positives and all kinds of negatives. The little things these days. 2020 is an absolute mess. It's been hard to deal with, but if you find the little things, I'm really happy the boat ran. Really happy I got to drive the boat. I'm happy that I got to see my buddies, even though I'm a bit of a hugger and there was no hugs today. It's still good to get out. Casey is good. The other dogs are good. The kids are good. Ashton is the champion of Fortnite. What more can we ask for, Casey? She ate everything today. She ate a bag of jerky. Oh. And a bag of salt and vinegar chips. It seems that the uh, pointer had a bag of Jack Lang's beef jerky and a bag of chips. So I'm thinking she's had a 10 out of 10 day. Find the positives and the negatives. It's hard times. It's hard times for for everyone. The cold front is coming, so I don't know what we're going to do over the next few days. I don't know of any boat launches on Rice Lake to launch the boat for Saturday's opener. So you win some, you lose some. Emma, everybody should follow on Instagram. Subscribe, do all that jazz. Yeah? Yep. Hopefully the next one's a 10 out of 10 day, not a seven. We'll see you soon.